Hello and welcome back to this video. So this is a continuation of our previous lesson and we are going to show you how you can build a more meaningful chatbot flow and we are going to explore more features. So to start, let's minimize our doc menu. All right, on the previous lesson, we have learned how to create a trigger and a get started type. We have learned how to configure the text element and add the variables and also we have learned how to configure the text and add buttons on this video we are going to explore how to create quick replies so a quick reply is a button below your text so let's try to add a quick reply here so just click quick reply and just like button we have quick reply types the next step chatbot flow, phone, and email. So first, let's show what the next step option does. So let's choose this and add a quick reply button type. So let's say this is a next step quick reply and then confirm the changes, All right? So we have our next step quick reply here. And then notice that there is a character limit here. So let us um remove some of the word so that we are not over the character limit if we try to save this we will get an error all right so this error is just like the button because we need to add a connection to our quick reply whenever we use the next step option to add a connection it's really easy just click on the node or on the socket and then click anywhere on the screen and then the option will show up. In this case, we are going to create a text element again. So you can move the elements around so that um, you can have a better view. So let's add another quick reply. In this case, we are going to use the email quick reply type. And then confirm the changes just like the button type it also requires a connection so i'm gonna add a connection here okay great so notice that there are still errors on our elements this is because we have not configured each text element yet let's add another quick reply and then this time we are going to use phone okay great so we now have three quick reply types the great thing about quick replies is we can add up to 11 of them. Unlike buttons where we can only add three, on quick replies, we are limited up to 11. So we can add more options here. So I'm going to show you that later on, but let's explore first the different types of quick reply. Notice that I haven't created a quick reply type using the chatbot flow option because that would be for the next lessons. For now, let's just use the next step, email and phone quick replies. Our chatbot flow is not ready for saving yet because we still have errors on our text. We have not configured it yet. If we try to save this, we will get an error. So let's try to configure our text first. The next step, let's configure this as this is your next step quick reply connection okay so that we would know um, the responses of each type of quick reply and this one this is the email quick reply response message let's copy that one and we are going to um, paste it here phone quick reply response message and um, I want you to make it into a habit to always label your flows. So example, next step, quick reply. Adding a label to your flows allows you to easily manage when you create a more complex chatbot flow later on. So this is email quick reply. And this is our phone quick reply. Okay, it's really up to you what you want to add here. Just make it meaningful 
um, it must be related to the message that you are trying to portray on your elements. So let's try to save this now and then let's send a test message. Great, we just received our test message. One thing that you would notice first here is we now have this button below. These are called quick replies. But you might ask, why am I only seeing two quick replies, the next step and the email? So where is the third one? We have three quick replies here, the next step, the email, and the phone. But on our test message, we are only shown two quick replies. The reason is the Facebook profile that we are currently using does not have a phone number or on the privacy settings of our Facebook profile, we did not set a phone number for this specific profile. Let me show you. So this is the Facebook profile that we used for Calvin. And as you can see on the general settings and the contact information settings, the only contact information that Calvin or this Facebook profile have shared publicly is the email address. So the mobile number is not available because this specific Facebook user did not provide a phone number on their contact settings. That's the reason that Facebook is only allowed to show the email of the subscriber or the Facebook user. Facebook cannot show the phone number of the specific user because this specific user did not register a phone number. Whenever you are testing the quick reply phone number and email feature, whenever you are not seeing an email or a phone number, this is because the user did not make their contact information as public. That's why Facebook is not allowed to share the email and phone number of your um, subscriber. So let's try clicking the quick reply next step. All right, as you can see, the direct message connection was triggered. This is your next quick reply connection. All right, let's send another test here. Click send test. Great, we now have re-triggered the message with quick replies. Now let's try to click on the email. All right, as you can see, we now have the email quick response message. There are a lot of use cases why we need to use the email quick reply. Example, we want to get the user email and save it on our database or save it on Google Sheet. That is possible using the email quick reply type. On our future lessons, we are going to learn how to save our subscriber's email address or even the subscriber's phone number to Google Sheet and also on our custom variables. That would be the topic on our future lessons, so stay tuned.